Well, hello, Internet. Chris Klein here with Alma Music in San Antonio, Texas, and today we're going to take a trip back in time. We love drum machines, but in order to really understand where all these different drum machines came from, it's great to go back to the beginning. And this in front of me is the Rhythm Ace FR2L. Made by Ace Tone. Ace Tone eventually turned into Roland. Uh, this was one of the first true analog drum machines. And as you can see from the form factor, it's very slim. I've got sheet music on top. There is a music stand there. It was really built to be set on top of classic organs or you know what it's sitting on right now, which is my Fender Rhodes, which I don't really have totally framed out. But this is a really, really cool drum machine. And you hear a lot of drum machines like this on indie rock albums and, and classic uh, like persuasive percussion, Enoch Light, instrumental records, and things like that. There's just all kinds of wonderful examples of these uh, original drum machines. So as you can see, we have a very simple interface. Starting at the left, we have our volume knob right here, which is also our power switch. We have our tempo knob, and as you can see, we just have these little hash marks. So you're probably going to have to ballpark your tempo unless you're using this as your primary click or drum track. And then we have these buttons that give us different types of rhythms. Then as we move past the rhythms, we come to these different controls where we can actually mute a cymbal, clavis, or the snare. And then we have our start button. So you really can't manipulate the drum patterns, but you can switch between the different drum patterns. And we're going to go ahead and listen to those right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. We're going to start off with the march. Then I'll let it go for a couple of measures and then we'll move on down. And as I'm moving down, uh, if you can't make out what the rhythm is, I'll announce it as well. So here we go with the march. And then next is the shuffle. And then the cha-cha. Have the mambo that sounds like fun right and then samba and then the rumba and then of course we can begin the begin Tango. Swing. Box trot. Bossa Nova. Slow rock. Rock and roll. Western. Dixieland. And waltz. Let's go back to our rock and roll. And I'm going to take the tempo all the way down. Let's remove the cymbal. And then the snare. The kick drum on this is actually really, really nice. It's really nice and round, robust great low end content content to it and there's just enough attack as well in many ways it could be like the precursor to the 808 kick drum however we can't really manipulate any of the parameters of the kick let's turn the tempo up
Now again, it might not seem super flexible, but there are some other tricks that you can employ when using the Rhythm Ace FR2L. One of those being this. What happens when we press in more than one button? So here's our march. Here's our shuffle. Let's do both. Now we're not hearing a lot happening there, right? Shuffle, arch. So again, not a whole lot of variation. But let's go down to our waltz, for instance. So the waltz is really simple. It just appears to be a snare drum. In the Dixieland, it's a little more fun. But if we combine both, now we've changed it up a little bit. Or how about if we do Western and Dixieland? That's a really cool polyrhythm that's happening there. So you can be really creative with it. Pretty cool. So now we have rock and roll, western, and Dixieland all engaged. Let's do bossa nova, foxtrot, let's do both. Pretty cool. Now, of course, we can do all kinds of other things to spice this up. We can compress it, we can distort it, we can add delays, reverbs. Delays will give you even more rhythmic variation, creating more polyrhythms. And that's something that we'll look at later as I'm gonna start incorporating uh, some stomp boxes into some of these videos. We're gonna start looking like, well, stomp boxes just aren't for guitars, let's plug them into drum machines. So we're gonna start looking at that and we'll explore simpler drum machines like this and how much we can manipulate the feeling, the sound, the timbre, everything about the character of the drum machine with just one pedal or a series of guitar pedals. So once again, this is the Ace Tone Rhythm Ace FR2L. It's really the second iteration of this series of drum machines. There's not much variation between the FR1 and the FR2L other than the form factor. And there's a couple of different buttons, but all the sounds and the rhythms are the same. So, you know, again, knowing a little about the history of these machines and where we are today and how we actually got to this place is a lot of fun. There are companies that make drum machines today that don't give you a lot of options that are very similar to what we have in front of us right now, but of course they're much, much smaller. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and stop here. Of course you can find us at alamomusic.com uh, on the internet. If you have any comments, suggestions, if you wanna see a particular type of video, let us know below. If you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button. We do have a couple of other channels. We have our Alma Music TV and Alma Music Center uh, pianos and keyboards. So you might wanna seek those out as well and I'll put those links at the bottom and you can also find those other channels from uh, our uh, Alma Audio Lab homepage on YouTube. So let's end this right now. Go out, find some of these sounds, explore, get some old crusty drum machines and have some fun. Until next time, I'm Chris Klein, Albany Music Center, San Antonio. All right, take care. Bye.